What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Chelsea are going to be playing some Wingspan 2 player. And we're going to try to use the other side of the goal board that we haven't used in our last couple playthroughs, uh, the one with the blue side. Uh, so we're going to try to figure that out here on the stream. But we're stuck at home, like some of you are stuck at home. COVID-19, virus outbreak, pandemic, state of emergency, all that business. So everyone's stuck at home. So we're just going to stream some Wingspan today. Uh, Mel is working from home, but she can't work from home and play wingspan at the same time unfortunately uh, i thought of trying it but then when she gets in a conference call while we're playing it's like it's all awkward i don't know if that would work on live stream uh just kidding uh but anyways yeah she'll be playing tonight with us on stream we're doing boss monster uh later this evening uh and uh tomorrow night on friday of this week if you're watching this live or recently after it was done uh we are playing pandemic on friday evening just to chill have a chat obviously talk about what's going on in the world while we play nice casual stream uh, and then this weekend on Saturday, we start Clank Legacy, our playthrough of that entire campaign. And we also scheduled episode two and three uh, for those. So go to youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. Set reminders for all the live streams you're looking forward to. I scheduled some other live streams in there too. And thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting the channel and voting on some of the games we play on stream. I'll have another poll going up soon. We're going to be placing our monthly game order. Uh, thanks to the support from everybody on the channel. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, throwing up a poll uh, for all of our Patreon tiers to vote on which games we throw on our order from our local game store, uh, assuming they're in stock and able to be purchased uh, at the time. Uh, so you can influence that by being a Patreon backer. Uh, links are down below. But thanks, thank you everyone. And the new poll went up this morning for next week's stream to decide which game we play. All right, so let's get into some two-player Wingspan. Uh, we already played a solo video of Wingspan and a two-player game of Wingspan uh, with myself and my wife last night on stream. Uh, so today is just casual family time <laughs> with my daughter Chelsea here, and we're going to figure out Wingspan 2-player, which she's played a few times now. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll see if she gives me a run for my money. Spencer's here, so is Marcus. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, <laughs> yay, birds. All right, so let's do this uh, down to the table. All right, so let's set up. We need to uh, roll our dice into our bird feeder and see what our starting food is. And there we are. Let's uh, cut the deck. We did some shuffling already, but we'll just kind of, nope. whoops. Oh no. Let's do a cut of this ginormous stack of cards uh, and fill up our birds here. So we got the common yellow throat, red-tailed hawk, and Foster's turn. Okay, uh, and we got one of each food. We need to deal out some uh, goal cards, two exactly, and we each choose one to keep. But while you're looking at those, you can also look at your hand of starting bird cards and also what the goals are, which we'll find out in a second, what birds are available and what food's available to start with. I think you get to know all that stuff ahead of time. And that'll help you decide which birds and which goals you're gonna keep. And the birds, uh, let's just grab five, five, and the goals, we're going to pull them from a bag here. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> hey. Uh, <laughs> successful geek. Howdy. Uh, all right. You want to pick one out here? You pick two, I pick two. And just, okay. they're double-sided, so whatever side you, you pull out, just throw it on there. So most eggs in the wetlands. What's the second one? Uh, what's this? Total birds. Total birds. So we're playing on the blue side of the goal card, so... For every instance you have of these goals, you just get points for it. It's like, I don't know, it's less like competitive or something it says in the book. Like, let's cut throat a little bit, I guess. Um, a little more relaxed. We, we usually play with the green side. This is our second time playing with the blue. So first I got is uh, birds with ground nests uh, with at least one egg on them. You'll get a point for each one of those. You have in round three. And eggs in platform nests. For I round four. Get those ones. All right. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> What's up? A direction opposite of gravity. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. Uh, so let's uh, now pick our starting cards. So I think we have everything else we need to know, all our information here. So eggs in wetlands are good, on wetland birds are good to start. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to go with a photographer as my goal, which is birds with colors in their names. Oh. So I'm going to try that one. And that. I'll get rid of bird counter, which was birds that like try to create flocks. You get two per bird, which is interesting. Um, I have one of those, but... What are you keeping? What's it called? I don't know. It's... Uh, oologists. Birds that have at least one egg laid on them. Seven to eight birds, you get three points. If you have nine or more birds, six points at the end of the game. So we're trying to get eggs on birds and wetlands first, but also think ahead more birds the merrier, because if you have at least five birds in round two, you'll get five points. And then in round four, try to have at least five platform birds with at least one egg on them. And then, or sorry, ground, ground nest birds, ground nest birds. And then in the final round, try to try your best to get five birds, uh, five eggs, sorry, that are on birds who are platform nests. So sometimes I think you could do that with like one or two birds. Uh, so that's interesting. How many are you keeping? Uh, I think I'm gonna keep just two. So I'll throw away these. So get rid of three. Uh, yeah, no, uh, get rid of two food, right? Cause you get to keep like five things total. So let me look at what these guys need. Uh, definitely keeping the fish, keep definitely keeping the seed. And I'll just keep a worm and get rid of a fruit and a rodent. Because I do see fruit and rodents there if I were to need to get them, but that could change uh, by that time. Do we so successful them the it, uh, Well, you could talk about them when we play them. It's fine. Um, so successful geeks asking, oh, I have been meaning to ask you, Rob, and I know they are very different games, but which do you enjoy playing more? <laughs> I get asked that question a lot, actually, uh, and I feel I can answer them very uh, that question very well now. Uh, you have too many bones, but you're considering picking up Cloudspire on Kickstarter. Uh, you, I don't see why you wouldn't like Cloudspire, but it depends. It's not, it has co-op in it. It has so, tons of solo hours you can spend on that game. Eh, no, it's not common. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but it also has um, PVP is like the main mode of the game. But like, I've played way more hours of co-op and solo of that game than I've played PvP, and that seems to be like, a lot of people say that, as they just play like tons of solo in that game. So it depends what you're looking for, but the game is very quality, very well done. Um, I wouldn't say you waste your money on it, unless you're looking at it for a PvP game, and you may have trouble teaching other people. If you don't have another gamer, like we have Justin and I and my wife Mel, where they were willing to sit down for hours and learn the game, practice the game, learn their faction, watch rules videos, read the book, all that stuff. It's a kind of a high barrier of entry to get someone in that and be competitive. Even with the co-op, Mel had to still practice the game with me, learn the game, figure out her faction. Like it's not for the faint of heart. Like it's not just a, hey guys, come on over this weekend. We'll just pull out and play a game of Cloud Spire all together and, and have some beers or whatever. It's like, no, they have to do their homework or you have to play a practice game before that. Because as you see in live streams, we just try to play a three player game Obviously, it's chatting and doing things one at a time and stuff, but uh, it could be like a five-hour session, and I've heard people complain about how long it takes, and they're not even talking about the learning and the setup and all that stuff, so it's a commitment. It's definitely a commitment, but again, Too Many Bones is the same idea. You gotta do work ahead to learn that game. It's it's on the same plane of, of time sync, so if you can get Too Many Bones at the table a lot, I feel you'll be okay with Cloudspire, but again, it's like, someone said depends they what you're looking for. They love Too Many Bones. They don't like yeah, Edgar Edgar in the chat saying he loves Too Many Bones but doesn't like Cloudspire. And, and obviously Cloudspire is not as successful, uh, I don't think, as Too Many Bones is. Uh, just look at the amount of people in each of those groups and things. But one's been around longer, right? Um, PvP, I don't mind. When it comes to PvP, let's see. How bad does it feel when someone attacks you? 
Like sometimes PvP games are fun, but others are just too aggressive. This, you can be super aggressive in it. Like it, you got to know. And the other thing is, if you come into this game and another thing with new players, if you don't kind of know what your opponent's faction kind of does, you can get like totally stomped. It's just like playing like Warcraft in those games in the, in the past on computer RTS games or whatever, where your opponent could build a certain unit. And if you don't have the unit that like counters it, you could get just like wiped off the mat. It has that possibility to it. If you're not building the right fortress in advancements or worrying about the right unit or have you built the right units or have the right hero, you could just get rolled if the other player knows your, your faction's weaknesses. So you can, it's kind of like a game for hardcore gamers and it, it's kind of like a lifestyle-ish game. So if you have a group that wants to dedicate the time into it and play it a few weeks in a row, that kind of thing, I say go for it. But if you're just looking for another casual game to throw on your shelves and pull out whenever uh, and hope to just teach people on the fly, not that game. That's my opinion, but it, the puzzly, the solo puzzly aspect. You watch, you if you see my streams, you know exactly. I love the solo in that. Tons of content, and if you're just gonna play solo gaming, that game, yeah, that's there's a lot that that it, it has going for it, and especially compared to other solo games I have played, uh, it is awesome for solo. Even the co-op, Mel and I love it and have fun. So. If you're going just for a solo, another solo game, jump right in. I'm just warning you about the PvP side of it. If you're thinking of getting that on the table a lot, you might not get on the table as much as you think. Uh, so yeah, but if you're a solo gamer and you're looking for something to blow hundreds of hours in maybe, or whatever, give you a good challenge in the puzzle, you could play the first scenario like five, six times and still want to play it more, which is crazy. And there's like 16 scenarios in the base game. Uh, Cloud says, top three solo games for you. No need to, no need to argument. <laughs> top three solo games for me uh i don't know right off the top of my head we'll play some wingspan now but i'd have to think about that one uh and i'll save that for a future video possibly <laughs> i love wingspan yeah chelsea likes wingspan but you haven't played it solo have you have you ever played a game solo a board game solo no right no. <laughs> i'll get you into that eventually play video all right games solo. yeah you play video games solo it's just like that right just more setup <laughs> you can't just Start up the PlayStation and start playing, right? You have to like learn, read rules and set it all up. And John's here. Hey, John, how's it going? Uh, oh, you've been watching from campaign one. Okay, so you know my love for that. And even when I'm stressed, I love the Cloudspire stuff. I'm debating doing some Cloudspire next week uh, for the Grove Tenders stuff in the campaign, but we'll see. I'm still unsure if that's what I'll focus on. Depends. We're waiting for some other games to show up in the mail too, so we'll see. All right. Uh, first player. Let's uh, just grab a cube Can each. I be first player? You want to be first player? Uh, yes. You can be first player. Done. <laughs> Done. All right. Uh, everything else I think is set up. We got our cards. Good to go. Your action. I'm going to play a bird. Okay. Um, I'll do... Hold it. Okay. I'll pay my worm for it. And then I think it's my turn. Perfect. Uh, but just thinking of solo games while she was taking her turn. Cloud Spire, Too Many Bones, Spirit Island, some of my favorite solo games so far. I don't know if they are my top favorite, but just thinking of games I played recently and games I spent the most hours playing, those ones would be up there. And you probably could just look at my solo games I played through on the channel. Which ones do I spend more hours on? That'll give you a hint at what are, what are my favorites so far. <laughs> uh, all right, so I will start by... You got a wetland bird already? Trying to get some eggs in the wetlands, I see? Yes. Interesting, interesting. Trying to make your draw action better. All right. I will. I will play a bird also. And I'll play him in the wetlands. My Clark's Grebe. And when activated, I draw one card. If you just if you do, discard a card from your hand at the end of your turn. And I'll feed him a fish to bring him to lure him to my wetlands. Okay. What's yours do? When activated, all players draw one card from the deck. But I oh, I hope you say. trigger that every time. No. no, you don't want to trigger that all the time? Come on. Okay. Mm. Uh, you were thinking about Robinson Crusoe with my wife too, but I hear that can be ridiculously hard. Yeah, I've heard it's hard. Uh, what's hard about it? I have like the first edition I got used recently, and I tried to read through that rule book, and I know they came out with a second edition that like fixes the rule book supposedly, so I got to read that through that PDF, but I have the game. I got it like at a good deal from a local guy who was like selling off half of his game collection. Uh, so that one will be on the channel eventually, and I am very interested in Robinson Crusoe, but I have not played it yet. So stay tuned for that. That's uh, something we'll learn in the upcoming weeks, probably, and, and do a do a two-player of that. Got a wild one. Yeah, so he's going to help me when I'm worried about putting an egg on birds with ground nests, or when I need eggs in my platform nests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, uh, I'm done. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to gain some food from the bird feeder. I would like a worm, please. Okay, uh, I'll take. Uh, which worm would you like? Would you like the one on the split or the the one by itself? The split one. Oh, why would you take that one? So you don't get the seeds. Oh, so you try to keep me from the seeds? I see. I see. <laughs> Jerk. <clears throat> Hey. I just cleared my throat. It was dry. Okay. Uh, you want to slide your cube over if you're done? Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll take the game eggs action. And I'll put two eggs on my little grubby. And I'm done that action. Your turn. I'm going to play another bird. Oh, wait. I don't have any eggs. Yeah, that's what my problem was. That's why I went to get more eggs. Two in the sky. Oh, no. trying to copy me, I see. No, I'm Interesting, I, interesting. I'm just smart. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I will play a bird. I will lose an egg. Uh, and I will feed him a worm and a seed to play this brant. And when I play it here in my wetlands, when played, draw the three face up cards in the bird tray. Yoink, yoink, yoink. And slide this to the left. And at the end of my turn, fill. Oh, there's a Canada goose. Look at that. We had one of these on our roof the other day in our neighborhood. <laughs> we did. All right. It's my turn. It is your turn. Okay. I'm going to pay an egg to play a bird. Okay. I'm going to play the same bird, but it's not called the same thing. A Wilson snipe? Well, they look the same, right? Yeah, Spotted and they do sandpiper. the same thing, and they have the same. Well, they both have ground nests. And they do the same Ah, huh, same ability. They're from the same place. Let's see. Sandpipers constantly bob their tails. People call them teeter peeps and t tip tails. But they have the same. And snipes this, can fly this, up to this, 60 this. miles per hour. And this, and how you Oh, they, pay, still, they eat grubs too, or wait, invertebrae wait. or worms or whatever. Yeah, they look almost the exact same kind of bird. This one has a longer beak. <laughs> and a little, little cut more colorful. They must be from the same family of birds. Yeah. Go well, all of the same, all of the birds are from the same family, because they're birds. Yeah, it's great. Hey, <laughs> Ryan, how's it going? Thanks for joining. <laughs> okay. And thanks, Ryan, for the next copy of Wingspan, who he sent to us in the mail, because it's near impossible to find, obviously, in, especially in Canada, aka North America, I guess, it's like pretty rough, uh, unless you order it directly from Stolmeyer Games, which, yeah, was a little rough in Canada to do that, so thanks again, Ryan, for uh, hooking us up. All right. Again, uh, mostly the same things. Yes. I don't know. I am going to... Hmm. Hmm. I will take this food action. I told you we did this. And take a ones. worm and pass it to you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. I'm going to... Well, I have no bird cards, so I'm going to get some. Draw some cards. You want to take uh, one or two from the face up or from the face down deck? This one. Canada Goose, of course. And I get one more. Yeah. You like what you see there? Does it work with our goals? Does it work with your, your goal card you're trying to uh, yeah, we'll get achieve? Don't forget about your goal card over there. Look at my goal card. Just make sure you're getting birds that also help for oh, that. Oh, it's okay. You're good? But, yeah. Uh, do you have any actions to do on your stuff? Hmm. hmm. Do you want to dig for more cards? I mean, maybe you get ones you need. Maybe I get ones I don't. It's a I'm gamble. I'm going to do it. Yeah, okay. So I'll do it. Uh, yeah, I'll take one. Oh, you got a bull. Look, it has wild. Oh, that's a, and it can go any habitat. That's awesome. <laughs> Good gravy. She looks like a mini Mel. Hello. <laughs> No, this is Mel. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Just joke. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Okay. You you have to pick one, too. Oh, so I get to draw one, too? Oh, my gosh. What would you get? I get... Oh, uh, what's the... What is that? A shit hawk? Dirty gull? What do you call those? That's what that's what we call them around here? Is they crap on everything? <laughs> a seagull? Yeah. Yeah. Crap, crapping on you at the beach? Ring. A Cooper's hawk. Build gull. I didn't know the real name. <laughs> Mel's in the chat too. Oh well. <laughs> Mel, you should be working right now. All right. 
Uh, and you <laughs> slide your cube over. And I'll fill up the row here of birds. All right. Let's see. I will play a bird. I'll lose an egg. And I'll oh, play a worm. You just lost an egg from your wetland. Well, I still got more cubes. Oh, three. And I'll put a common yellow throw down that when activated, you draw two cards. If you do, discard one from your hand at the end of your turn. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> yeah. There must be a typo on the name of the bird. Okay. What's the name of the bird, Chelsea, he said in the chat there? I don't know. You don't want to say it? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm copying you. Copying me? Yes. You have a common yellow throat? No. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're putting more birds in your wetlands. You know that goal is only for the first round. Oh, but and then also next round is have the most, or, or try to get at least five birds. It's not the most. It's just you're trying to get at least five eggs in wetlands to get the total most points you can on this side, right? Yeah, We're a little used to playing the competitive side of the board, so we kind of forget. I'll keep saying most, but it's, you don't really have to. You just have to get... Uh, any instance of those, you get a point for it. Excuse me. Uh, all right. I'm going to... Wait, I'll slide it over for your turn. I have to wait to You have to slide your cube, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I left that there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Uh, nope. Let's go with the eggs. Two eggs. Uh, let's do. Doesn't matter the color. No, it does. I'm looking later. This one counts for later. Give it the color. I know. Oh, uh, it does for the camera. So see with the white eggs, sometimes they're like if you put them on like a, a white spot, sort of. It's like that's kind of hard to see. It's yeah, bad. You just put yeah, I know. If you put it on a bird, it's not as bad. But still, I try to avoid the white eggs. I should just take them out of the, out of the set and get that expansion with all the purple eggs. Oh, purple eggs. There's purple eggs in the European expansion. I found out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, that's my action. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Got to get more birds. Or no, I should do eggs. Okay, your turn. Mm hmm All right. I am going to... You have a lot and of a food. I'll take a rodent. In your hand. Take a rodent. Yeah, but I don't have any food to play in. That's the problem. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I yellow, and then you have that. Did you even notice? Uh, no. Well, I kept them for that, I think. Go ahead. Okay. Um. I'm gonna lay eggs again. Do one layer, and then. I'll just do another one there. Nope, I'm going away from it. Okay. I am going to play a bird. I'll get rid of this rodent to put a hawk, a Cooper's hawk, up here. And when activated, I can look at the top card from the deck. If it's less than 75 centimeter wingspan, I can tuck it behind this bird if not discard it. And that is me. Uh, we're done the round? Yeah. So remove our cubes from our mat. That was a quick round. Uh, grab a cube and put it on the amount of eggs you have in your wetlands for your points to the end of the game. I got two. I got four. Okay. Um, and then switch to the first player. And we will get rid of all these birds in the row and get three fresh new birds. Western tan Tanager, Tanager, Red Breasted. Nut hatch. Oh, that red breasted. That works with that. Oh, and a red eyed. Uh, I gotta take them. Vir vario. Did you already? Yeah, pass. I took it. So yeah, because you were first first uh, round, right? Can't be first every round. Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so the base, yeah, the base game does come with the dice tower. Uh, it's, it's a little a cardboard, bird feeder. cardboard bird feeder dice tower you punch out and kind of put together. Uh, it's pretty neat. You punch that out? Yeah, it comes with like a bunch of instructions on the cardboard it's in. It wasn't hard to put together, uh, but I've heard taking it apart and and that can uh, add some wear and tear. But here, let's put these out for a sec. Uh, but what I saw, you can kind of just like um, lift it off the back here and just kind of like lay it down and put it in the box that way and you should be okay. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, and then kind of just put it back. I guess, it, <laughs> I guess it kind of got stuck. Usually it slides off like that, uh, so the back part stays on, but either way, it still does the right job. And then I guess it would only kind of wear out at these joints, but you don't even really see that part anyway, and it still should be fine, but yeah. Okay. Sure, there'll be upgraded plastic versions eventually and stuff, but it's a nice little addition. And I like this little row comes with the game, this little game tray and these little little cup uh, things, but that's the production of the game is one of the Someone reasons why it's so popular. Said. That's sick. I might have to order. Yeah, so Spencer wants to order now, just based on this this beautiful little dice <laughs> tower. It's kind of cool. You uh, have to right. put the yep, dice. Put those in. back in. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, so we're good to go. Round two. Trying to have the most, or trying to get at least five total birds, and you get the max points for that round. Which I just need one more bird, I'm and I'm good get there. Five total birds. We'll see about that. We will see. Mine are easy to get. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take some food. Um, actually, I don't really want to because that food stinks. But I guess I could take one. Uh, let's take the, the, the seed or whatever. Uh, then I will uh, toss a card to grab another one and I'll re roll all this there. It's going to be uh, two and... seeds, one fruit. One worm and then one robin. Nice. Let's go with the rodents. And then I look at the top card. If it's less than 75 meter, a centimeter wingspan, it's 46. As you uh, can see there in the bottom right of the card. So this hawk. Oh, wait, so it goes there. This hawk gobbles up one and it'll be worth a victory point at the end of the game for each tuck card I have underneath him. I thought it didn't. I was. Yeah, look at the top card from the deck. If it's less than 75 centimeters, tuck it. But oh, it's a predator. That's what predators. Centimeters. No, 75 centimeters, sorry. Then you tuck it behind this bird. If not, discard it. And he is a predator. That's this symbol. Uh, is the symbol for predator birds, which there are some in here. And then there's also like flock birds or whatever that uh, do the same thing, tucking cards underneath to symbolize building a flock. And you get yeah, a point I for had every one card before. tucked. Before. Your turn. Oh, I, I have one. Oh, seagulls coming in flocks? No way. <laughs> I have another one. As soon as one. someone throws some fries on the floor, they're everywhere. Oh, and the, the, the Canada goose, that makes sense. I we go see them flying in the in a flock, right? All on the V flying by. Yeah. Honking at us. Okay. Did you already go? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yep, it's your turn. I would like some seed. One seed. One seed? All right. One seed for you. Thank you. Okay. Need to get the most birds. Uh, I'll take the draw action, and I'll take a the red eyed and the red breasted to get those colors there. Uh, I will not throw away an egg to draw another one. I can draw two. I'll draw one and two. If I do, I must discard one at the end of my turn. That guy does nothing. And then this one, uh, draw one. If you do discard one. Oh my gosh, you have so, so many cards. I'll discard that one. Whoops, is that a red? No, that's the red breast one. <laughs> Don't do that one. Don't do that one. You just got it, didn't you? Right? Yeah. Uh, blue. Okay, let's throw away this king, king rail. And then at the end of my turn, I'll throw away another one. How do you get to throw away them? Because it's here, draw two. If you do, you discard one at the end of your turn. And this one was draw one. If you do, discard one at the end of your turn. So these are the two mm. I am discarding. And then we'll fill up this one. The mountain chickadee and the American kestrel. Uh, and that was me. Go ahead. Okay. I hey, Mark B. How's it going? Emma Tuj. Hello. To play the... Hope everyone's uh, doing well out there, being safe, practicing your social distancing. Actually, we should be a few meters apart, Chelsea. Actually, I'm sorry. Social distancing. So I'm just going to play like this for the rest of the game. Yeah, but they can't see you. I know, just joking. <laughs> that would not I'm be gonna... a problem, though. It would be okay not seeing my face. <laughs> I'm going to 
go right here. I'm going to play this Canada Goose. Canada Goose going in your grasslands. Feeding him two seeds. Yep. He's going to hang out. And what's he do? When he's activated, you discard a seed to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird. So every one is... You, you got to get seeds, though, so you can throw them away because those are worth two points because every two cards, like every one card is worth one point, right? So you can turn your food into points. <laughs> and then uh, said she says, looks like Mel's <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Matouche says hello, Chelsea. Looks like Mel's <laughs> coffee. <laughs> it's the second person to say that, actually. And staying safe. They're optimal right now. Try not to buy all the games at once, though. Yeah, that's the problem. What I'm taking the time and I like is, is pulling games off the shelf, looking at some of those games that maybe you're collecting dust for a while, haven't got enough plays, or maybe you haven't even opened or touched yet that you've gotten from Kickstarters recently or that kind of thing. That's what I'm taking this time to just like, let's dig in the back catalog. Let's Sweet. not go crazy buying games. Sweet. Most of the game stores are all like closed around us now and doing like online orders only and some don't even have online orders, so I don't know what they're doing. Um, but it's not a good time for them, I think. You have some games that you haven't opened. Uh, yeah, that's, oh, all those expansions. Yeah, yeah, for time stories. Yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. That's too many damn games. All right. Uh, you took we have like two, so it's me. Six shelves full of games. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to play them more, and then we can get through them all, right? Yeah. Like New Age. New Age is out of the shrink, at least, because I had to get that token out of the box. But uh, we'll get to that after Clank Legacy, I think, is a plan. Uh, we'll do play through the campaign of, of Aeons and New Age after a Clank Legacy campaign. All right, so let's go with... Um, I'll take a... F I'll do the food action. Uh, let's go with... What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm looking at my cards. Uh... I will take a seed, a worm, and then I will throw away a card to get a, I guess a seed is probably, no, I'll take a fruit actually. Does your card matter if you, like your bonus card, do you have to play it? What do you mean? You have to play the... Yeah, they have to be in play. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It only counts the ones on your board. One. I'm working on it. Relax. <laughs> Relax. I'll get there. All right. Do you want me? Uh, and then I get to look at the top card if it's less than 75 meter wingspan. No, it's another hawk. So they fight it out and this guy doesn't get tucked. Um, but he is gone. Discard it. Okay. I'm done that action. Go ahead. Your turn. Well, I'm going to eat some more birds. Mark stuck at home in Germany. <laughs> yeah, everybody's stuck home here, kind of. We can go out and all that, but uh, it's like a state of emergency. They put closed a bunch of businesses and stuff here, but it's not complete shutdown or anything yet. But got a bald eagle. So Nine. You gain, you gain all the fish that are in the bird feeder if you get him in play. But like. Nine points. I don't know how often that happens. Okay. Yeah, but you gotta get him in play to see if you do it. But that does look awesome. I like the art okay, on that card. Okay, get another one because of this. Oh. Oh, red. That's fine. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be able to play that one with all the ones I have, too. You can only play so many birds in the game sometimes. Uh, any more actions there you're doing? Did you toss an egg to draw okay. another? You don't care? Each player gains one... Does that mean, like, food or... Bird? Yeah, one die from the bird feeder to get that food. There's only Starting one. with the player of your choice. Do you want to do that? And you could choose who gets could to do it first. Could I re-roll it? Okay. Yeah, because there's there's only one face yeah, showing... Yeah, I would like to... You're going to go first, then? Yeah. And do a re-roll? There's all the fish. Don't you wish you had that hawk out now? Yeah. We need fish to get them in play. So what do you want to take? Uh, fish. <laughs> all right. Fish it is. Whoops. Okay. A little fishy. And I Maybe. will take... Don't take the fish. Don't take the mm, fish. I don't want the fish. I want a rodent, but they don't seem to show up. <laughs> uh, I want... I guess the seed. 
<laughs> Katusha says, we just have to stay home and play board games with like a super sad face. Yeah, rough life. Uh, Matush says, what board game do you like the most, Chelsea? If you had to pick one game from the games we've played recently that I know you like, the ones I can think of that I know you like a lot that you always bug me to play are Architects of the West Kingdom, Wingspan now, uh, Clank, Just Desserts, <laughs> Just Desserts. <laughs> uh, haven't played in a while, but you like My Little Scythe. That, that you were kind of good with, but you haven't asked to play that in a while, so that tells you something, I guess. Um, Did I hear this? Did Rob call this game Too Many Birds? Uh, yep. <laughs> too Many too Birds. Too Many Birds. Um, hmm. I never like, have too many birds in this game. I like, I, I like this game, but I like Just Desserts. Just Desserts, okay. Just we desserts could, we like could a, play that once on here. True. Uh, Just Desserts is like, a, if you don't know, it's a card game by the guys uh, Looney Labs who do all the Flux games. It's like a kind of a card game similar to Flux where you're trying to like serve people at a cafe uh, desserts and try to get guests and mess with each other and stuff. Uh, just collect sets, I guess. Um, but yeah, she loves that game. We could play it once like next week. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, whose turn is it? Did you just I've go? done. Oh, you got to move, move this one along, don't you? Or did you do all that? Oh, you got to finish that, yeah. You can have one, too. What is it? Drawing a card? Yeah. Any colors? No, you have to draw. No, no. You can pick from here if you'd rather. It, it draw. No, one. anytime it says that, you get to choose. Uh, I just did it. That's okay. I'll just do that, too. <laughs> uh, next one? But I got... Next one? Oh, this one it says from the deck. Oh, it does say from the deck. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I, that's what I was saying. But I thought anytime it says draw from the deck, you can do like any of this stuff. But I could be yeah, wrong. Yeah, but I think that's just. What is it called? Wilson Snipe or? Or Spotted Sand Piper. Yeah, I'm curious. I thought it was always when it says draw, you just take it from either. It might say that. Let's find out. Uh, we're looking for draw powers. Uh, Wilson Snipe. All players draw one card from the deck. Draw clockwise, starting with the current player. Yeah, from the deck. But it. <laughs> uh, it's here. There's. I read it somewhere. Whenever it says draw, but that does say draw from the deck. But I think anytime it says draw, it fits. No, but you're probably right because it says from the deck. From the deck. I know. It doesn't say draw a card. Uh, from the deck. Oh yeah, you're right because it says here uh, when you choose to draw cards. Uh, maybe not. From either the face-up or the deck. Okay, we'll just draw from sure. the deck. Sure, it'll be just from the deck. Okay. I'm doing it again. Draw and draw from the deck, two different actions. Thank you, Matouche. <gasps> okay, that makes sense. I got, I got a yellow. Oh, thanks. That's great. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to work on here. Okay. Look how much birds have. And you're done. Oh, I draw two again, right? Because yep. you wanted to activate that. All right. You get to draw two? Wow. Well, because you did it two times in a row, right? Yeah, but you just, you did it. But I did it from your first one, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, but I already have four cards, and now I drew two more. So, because you did it this one and this one. So I yeah, drew Yeah, but two. you drew, okay. Yeah, it's fine. You did both birds, right? Okay, we're good. Uh, all right, I will try to get some colored named birds into play here. And who possibly have the right colored so name? Oh yeah. Because my photographer goal I'm trying to get. All right. I got another one. Another one. Uh, I'll play a bird. I'll lose an egg. Another one. Oh my god! I have four. Uh, there's another. <laughs> lose an egg, and get rid of a fruit. Play a red-eyed vireo. Uh, and then, when I play that, you can play a second bird in your forest, playing normal cost. Which I will lose another egg, and we'll get rid of a. Let's get rid of a seed. Play a red-breasted nuthatch. Uh, in the. Uh, forest also. Uh, done. Go ahead. Okay. So look, I got two more with colors in play. Red-eyed and red-breasted. Done. Okay, I'm going to gain food. I would like... What would you like? 
A worm. <laughs> Jack says, hey, Robin Mel. <laughs> Two people have said you look like Mel. Now Jack thinks you are Mel. You're doing a good job. <laughs> this is my daughter, Chelsea Jack, by the way. <laughs> Mini Mel. This will call you Mini Mel. Does that work? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, all right. So you took uh, what food? Worm. Worm? Worms? Worms? Worm, worm, worm. Worm. Worm, worm, worm. Good, <laughs> huh? Worm, worm, worm. Worm, worm, worm. worm. Uh, <laughs> I need a rodent, and there are no rodents. <laughs> Mel's in chat, though, so she, she, she caught you, Jack. You're busted now. You're busted. All right. Hi, old Chelsea. Hi, <laughs> <Some> old <gum. laughs> hey, old Chelsea. No, he's, no, he's talking to Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try to take the food action. I don't like what I see here. I'm gonna re No, it. fish. Fish. No. Fish. Oh, there's no more. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, no rodents. Come on. I know I can toss other stuff as a wild, which I'll probably now have to do. Uh, I will take these two as seeds and I will Get rid of toss this barn owl. Uh, to do another one, let's take a worm, okay, and then I'll go here, uh, gain a seed from the supply and cash it on this card, and then this guy will look at the top card, less than 75, nope, it's 91, so no, no tucking there, and over to you. Yep, you can read this card in the flavor text, what does that mean? Uh, Philip says this is a quality substitute for school. Yeah, yeah, because he's saying it's a substitute for school because you actually learn. Uh, and he's saying that because remember on each card in the very bottom, you can see where the bird is from and like a little learning thing about the bird. You can learn the wingspan of the bird, see a picture of the bird, know the name of the bird and how to say it in like Latin or something. I can't remember what language that is, but something like that. And then um, you can learn if it's a predator and what type of nest it's from. And, uh, yeah, even with the theme, you know which birds come in flocks, which ones are about, like, predators, uh, like, uh, tucking birds, like, collecting, like, uh, what they eat you can in the see habitat. The bird where it is from, where does the bird lay eggs? Yeah, all that I just said. Eat. Yeah. Oh. yeah, which is kind of neat. Tucking cards is live in group or with other birds. I know. Or, or in this case, uh, eating birds. Yeah, he said that. Eating smaller birds. Yeah, or eating, yeah, predator birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which he is super cool. The super thematic. The end, so then yeah, yeah. That's it. all good. Okay, what are we doing now? I've I'm, done, it's my turn. I've done five, and I'm first. So you should. You're at four? Yep, so you need to put a fifth cube. No, it's. Oh, yeah. Yep, go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm just going to. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to do this. Wait, can I get it? Play a bird. Yeah, okay. Um, play it. And another one in your wetlands? Yeah. Crazy. Look, we have to get Did you feed it? Birds. No, I got to feed it. No, 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 it's ore. That one's an ore. You can do a worm or a fish, not both. If it's plus, you have to do both. Worm. You didn't mess that up before. You didn't mess up this game because you don't have any that do that yet. But yeah, that's how no, it works. I didn't so this one, it's got to be both because it's the plus. Yeah, that's or. You just need one food for that guy. It's your choice. Actually, I'll, I'll switch. So then okay. I could go yep, with yep. this. Go with this All one. All right, slide your cube and I will... Let's do, I'll take the egg action and I will put one here and one here and slide it over. Go ahead. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five birds, so I don't need more birds. Well, but if you can get birds with ground nests, that'll help. 
if you get birds with platform nests, that might help you get more eggs on them and whatever you need for that. Oh, just birds that have eggs on them. But I need like... You need at least like seven I'm birds. I'm getting nine So don't stop birds. putting birds on the board. You need more birds for your stuff. Oh, I have to play a bird. Okay. Playing another bird. Doing this one. Paying for it. Um, it says... When activated, gain one seed from the bird feeder, if available. You may cash. Cash it on this card. Oh. So I got to make sure there's no seeds there for you then. There you is. Know. Jack's asking in the chat. Uh, so I set up the next week's schedule for the streaming every day. No, there is uh, more streams I will be scheduling. That's just what I worked out with Mel to plan for playing with her. Um, but I want to put some of my own streams in there playing solo in the day and maybe Chelsea... Wants to play some just desserts, as she's saying next week. So we might do that yeah, in the, in the I, week there. Just have a fun little family day. Well, she's home from school. Um, well, I'm home from school, like. For some but then again, days. you'll have Animal Crossing starting tomorrow, so you'll forget who I even am <laughs> by that time next week, because you'll just be thinking you live with only animals in a video game because you're playing it so much. So you'll forget about real life, and then you know, we'll just have to like make sure you're eating and stuff, uh, and not just locking yourself in your room playing your game. Yeah, but I'll play it downstairs. So oh, okay. So we'll so see you're that you're still, to you're still alive. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, but yeah, I'll be scheduling more streams, Jack. But he's asking, um, are you planning on playing multiple Clank Legacy chapters on Saturday? Yes. That is the reason uh, we found it worked good for Aeon's End is we scheduled it on a weekend. So at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. And Sunday we also scheduled this weekend. And it's understandable if not everyone can be there for both streams. So we found that that afternoon on a weekend seems to be the best time for most people's time zones rather than like the evening weekdays for us. Uh, so what we're gonna do is do the first two episodes then on Saturday and Sunday, and we're gonna play multiple, as many chapters as we can get through in like a probably three to six hour stream. It depends on how the stream's going and when the like natural time is to end it based on, I don't know how long each scenario is gonna take to play and do all the setup and tear down and uh, the book bookkeeping between like most legacy games have. So hopefully we can get through at least two, I'm hoping on Saturday, maybe three. Uh, but we'll see how it's going for time. And then on Sunday, we'll continue and do the same thing. Uh, so if you can't catch us live, catch it after the stream and just jump in live if you're okay with spoilers uh, at any point. And the third episode right now we have scheduled for the following Friday evening. Uh, and then I'll probably schedule another one on the, the next weekend in the day just to continue through it. Uh, but we do have other streams scheduled for next week. Go to uh, the homepage at YouTube and you can set reminders for all the ones you're interested in. Uh, and I'll be posting more uh, over the next couple of days too as I figure out like what games and things we're waiting for to be shipped to that are, are supposedly on the way to us. Uh, we have to leave time open to play those too so and learn them before scheduling the streams. But you I don't want to book anything knowing that there may be shipping delays on stuff. So we'll you've see. You've shipped games? Yeah, we have games that are coming to us. But I, I can't say what they are. Because A, they might not really come. And B, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say what, what they are yet. Oh. Yeah, but you can see them, but you have to keep your keep it keep it quiet. I don't know. Top even secret stuff. I'm on this YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, all right. Uh, all right. Let's see here. <sighs> Whose turn is it? I have a cube left. You have a cube left. So that means it's my turn because I went first, so I have to finish my cubes before you do. That would make sense. So, let's go with. I have enough birds already to get the five points. Platform or sorry, ground nest birds would be good. I need at least five with an egg on it next turn. So that would be the wild, this guy, and this wild. Mm. All right. Nest. So yeah. let me. This one. I have another one. I, I have will. Another one. Let's play a bird. Who's Here. winning so far? Uh, I don't know. I can never count the, the victory points in this ahead of time as much. I have 15. Um, so I'll play a bird. I'll toss away two eggs. Um, I have 22 the points in this. <laughs> okay. And I will play this bird here. And I have to give it a food and a seed. Uh, so I'll feed it. And it says, when activated, this bird is to the right of all other birds in this habitat. I can move it to any other habitat. So that is that. Go ahead. Your last cube for the round. What are you doing? What are you doing? You already have the five birds, so that really doesn't matter. Try to work towards this or try to work towards these next yeah, goals, we'll maybe. 
We're just trying to get a big victory point size birds in play where you get more points. Yeah. So you got your two eggs? Do you want to throw away food? You don't have food, right? I don't right? have any food. Oh, perfect. And you don't have a seed to discard. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're down the round. Clear off our cubes. Okay. Now put your cube where you got for birds. I have five birds. Five. All right, so we just get the five well, points I have for that. Six, but... We'll get each of the five points for that end round goal. Uh, you will now be first player, and I will change up the birds up in the tray. We got the blue jay. Uh, the blue. American, blue yeah, jay. blue jay. I need to get that guy for my my goal. We got the American av av avocet, avocet. Have a, who knows how to say these birds? <laughs> I don't. And a warbler. Something a warbler. warbler. That's cool. All right. Uh, you're first. Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. This is hard. I'm going to probably gain food. What do you want? You want a seed or a fish from the bird feeder? A fish. Okay, you got a fish. Take a fish from your tray. You got a fish over there? I'm going to get rid of one of my cards. Would you like me to re-roll them for your next one you're taking then? Or would you like the seed? I wouldn't like You want to re-roll? Yes. All right. So toss the card. Now let's see what you get to pick from. Your choice. I'll have the worm with the wheat. So okay. So there you go. Okay. Uh, slide it over and do your next thing. Gain one seed from the bird feeder. So gain a seed and throw it on him. And then cash it on him. Yep, he's collecting. Okay, uh, I will take the egg action. And I will put an egg here and an egg here. And that is me. Slide it over. Go ahead. I'll just do play bird. Okay, I have to spend an egg. Which okay, we'll do this one. Then another bird? Yes. Making your gain food action better by filling up your row. Very nice. What does he do? He gained one worm from or us. invertebrate, is what the official term is called. It's nice that this game comes with a dice tower. Agreed. And the big, big dice. I love big dice like this in games. Uh, they're a nice light, light wooden die, but uh, definitely feel quality. I like them. They make that a nice, a nice sound in here. Like it does make it sound like this is made of wood. Uh, well, technically, I guess paper, wood, and all that stuff, cardboard. <laughs> but it makes it sound like it's made of real wood, like a real birdhouse, right? When you're rolling the wooden dice through and the way they make <laughs> the way they make noise in there. Remember you built a birdhouse at school that one time? I did? Yeah, I remember at that uh at, we went for the um that like something we were outside with all your friends and at the table. Fling. Spring fling or something. Remember Home Depot had the table set up that oh, was like yeah. building birdhouses and you guys were throwing glue all over the place and they have the those in the summer, gonna... but I don't think they'll have it this year oh, in okay. the summer because of the virus. Ah, yes, probably not. Okay, so you're done? Did you slide over for that one? Yep. I don't think you did. Oh. So you I... played a bird. You played a bird, bird. I Bird's forgot. A bird. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to take the draw action here. I will just draw two off the deck. Do this. <sighs> okay, I'll go over here, draw two. If I do, I have to discard a card at the end of the turn. Okay, I'll slide over this guy, draw one. If you do, discard a card at the end of the turn. All right. So what I will do is discard two cards. And it will be... What is it? These two. Bobo Link and Barrow's Goldeneye. Not to be confused with Goldeneye 64. Golden. The gold <laughs> is... Joking. Golden is a color. Oh, is it? Hold on. Right? 
Is it gold or color? It says gold. That's. I, I don't know, gold and I. I guess so, probably. I'm a noob. It's okay. I messed <laughs> up. It's all good. It's all good. You don't know your colors. I don't know my colors. Uh, and that was this done. Okay. My turn. I'm going to get through it. Got this one. I love the hawks, man. They look so cool. Still, still waiting like for that, that exotic parrot expansion. It's a predator. <laughs> um, and then I have to get one more. Did I get... I had to get one because I did three. Three? Yes. Holy. I'm now move it across and start doing other stuff. Trade. Take one food from any other... Oh, sorry, trade. So you can trade this fish for any other kind of food you want. If you want it, you don't need to. Oh, wait, no. Mm -mm. Look, at the Look at the most important bird in your hand you really want to play. And what does it need? Does it need fish? Yep, yes. that needs fish, so you don't need to trade. Each player gains one food from dice from the bird feeder, starting as a player. Before who, who do you want to do it first, me or you? You, because you want that rodent, I assume? Yes. Yeah, okay, you got the rodent. I do. And, and I will take... Of course, that's what I wanted, but that's fine. All of these ones basically I'll take the give worm. The other, other. All right, what do you got next? Do you want to do the all player draw card? You, yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh, we're drawing a card again. Okay. Yep. Oh, we got another colored one. The black skimmer. A I just gotta get these guys into play. Purple gall mule. Yeah, we'll Look at this out. one. Whoa, hey, that's a color too. Stop Look taking my color Look how colorful cards. it is. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. All right, uh, and you're done on this line? Move your cube over. You can't take the card, Chelsea. It has to stay in the game. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. I want to... I'm gonna play colored birds. That. I bet when we play this, Mommy was scared because she hates birds. She wasn't scared. <laughs> that was a fun game. You played with us. She was still playing, having a good time, I think. She was sweating a little, so maybe her fear she of birds was. was... No, I'm just joking. Uh, I use so many of these. Yeah. All right, let's play this hawk. He's a red-tailed hawk, so I want him for the color. Uh, let's throw him down here. And, uh, oh, sorry, I gotta put a cube there. Uh, you gotta spend two eggs. And I'll throw away one, uh, feed him one rodent, but then I'll use two uh, seeds to feed him for the other rodent. And that is that. Go ahead. My turn. Hmm. I have a good feeling that. Roll the dice, please. Yep, I'll roll the dice. Hopefully they're not all the same. Let's see what we get. Uh, I'll re-roll this one. This is kind of tilted. There's a fish. Fish! Give me the fish. Fish it is. All right, go ahead. Wait. Wait. No, I have not tried out the Wingspan Automa app, Greg. I do want to try it, though. It was mentioned in my solo stream. I didn't know it was a thing. I got enough. But I have to take one more, so I'll take the <laughs> seed. Seed? Done. Is it any good, Greg? Have you tried it out? Oh, he was wrong. All right. Uh, let me... You're done your food. Oh, you got to go across. Do your things. You know, worm it? from the supply, not the bird feeder. Oh. So you just get a straight up worm, and then go to the next guy. Oh, you took the seed, so he doesn't get the cash one, so then you're done. Hey. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's go here. We're going to gain some food. I'm going to gain this worm. And then, for the next food, I will re-roll them all. 
And I'll take a fish. So, of course, now the rodents show up. Look at the chat. So one sec, said, one sec. Let me finish my action, and then so I remember where we are. Okay. Uh, I will take a fruit. Okay. And I think that's that. If this bird's to the right of all the birds, you can move to another habitat. I won't do that. Uh, gain one from the supply of seeds and cash on this guy. And then this guy wants to look at the birds, and it's 41 centimeters, so it's less than 75. He will gobble it up. And there we go. Your action. Okay. It's going to be the best action ever, anyone has ever seen. <laughs> Jack, you're evil. <laughs> you're evil, Jack. I love it. What did it. he say? He's teasing Mel because she's, she's stuck working while we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Spit out your room It does speed up the game. Perfect. Perfect, Greg. I will look at that on my app. I'll highlight it on a future video, too, actually, uh, next time I play da, the soul. Da, 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 da. Done my round with the bald eagle. All Filling right. up my sea plants. Uh, I'll take the egg laying action. We're trying to do platform birds. I thought it was two. Go ahead. You went that quick. Or sorry, ground nest birds. Ground nest birds mean at least an egg on. Okay. Uh, done. Wait, Go I didn't ahead. do the egg action. Too. Oh, now you forgot about it too, like I did. Oh. So Jot's here. Hello there. Spotty mobile net is the word of the day. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. I lowered our um, what do you call it? The uh, oh, I like uh, what's it called? <laughs> Trying some new stuff out here. Uh, this one. Okay. Done. Our video bit rate, I lowered by like only 500 whatever kilobits or whatever. Just to kind of see if that will help uh, a little bit. But I, I, wish... see that I see it fluctuates anyway. Uh, but it does lower it a bit. So hopefully that will help with the frame drops uh, or the lag at all that some people have been experiencing you know the, lately. the pictures that come up? Are they in here? When someone subscribes, are they in here? What, sorry? Are the pictures Yeah, actually? if someone does subscribe or if they donate, there's a link down below in the chat if they donate or if they do a super chat like Matuja sometimes, there's like stuff that pops up on the screen, yeah. So or if they follow me on Twitch, I think it does that. it too. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, because then... But if there is anyone watching that isn't subscribed, how dare you? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it's set up, unless it's not working, but uh, which happens sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, all right. My turn? Yes. Oh, you've done all your, your stuff? Oh, man. Uh, do I go for this platform bird stuff, or ground bird? I do have a wild and a guy with a, an egg on him. Yeah, I'll go for it. Let's get another two points out of that, I guess. Let's go throw some eggs there. All right, end of the round. Clear your cubes. Now put one of your cubes on where you scored. How many birds with those nests? One, two, three, four I got. So I get four points. Four points. Oh, we tied. Okay, uh, first player will switch. And these will switch. And now the goal is you're trying to get points for every egg you have in platform nest bird, on platform nest birds. Oh, I didn't do it. When played, gain all fish that are in the bird feeder. Did well, you there is none. gain one? After you played it? Did I maybe? No, you. I think you did this because you didn't okay. push it over. Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <sighs> um, Where did you? Could anyone say? So I'm first. Say. So is this the last round? Yes, yes, uh, Jack. This is round four, final round. Uh, so we're trying to go for this end game, end round goal of just getting points uh, for each egg we have in bird feeder. So you're trying to get at least five of them so you can get the five points for that. And then at the end of the game, we'll see if we got our goals. We'll add up points for every bird we played. Certain birds are worth different victory points. We get a point for every egg we have in our habitat on birds. We get a point for every piece of food that's on birds. We get a point for every card that's tucked under the birds. And I think that is it. Food only counts for tiebreaker, I'm pretty sure. Uh, all right. And we only have, since we've been putting cubes on the goal track, we've been having less cubes each round for actions. So we only have five more actions left. Try to get as many points as you can. Oh, no. Someone says, 
How is them birds? Game is going okay. <laughs> yes, the job, the game is good, and the birds are awesome. How do, what do you think? Birds are good. Yeah. The birds are the word. It's the birds the word. All right, I will play a bird. I'll spend. Uh, let's spend an egg from here and an egg from here, uh, and I'll feed one fish and two worms. Since I don't have another fish, I'll just use two worms to pay for that other fish, and throw in a black skimmer, another colored one. So I'm, I'm working towards my, do I have one, two, three, four, five that have colors in their names. If I can get six, I'll get six points from my no. goal. One more and I'm the good. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight. Slide this oh. over. Go ahead, your turn. Five turns left for each of us. Well, I have four left. You have five. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm doing this one. Uh, I would like both of the rodents, please. Uh, okay, done. Take two rodents. Cyan you need rodents. any, let me know. I have some here. Oh, no, I got one at the very bottom. I have an extra in here. Could I have some more? Yeah. Because, like, they're all at the bottom. It's okay. All right, what else are you doing? Sliding hmm. it across, doing some other stuff? Yes. ones that need worms oh yeah i do a lot of cards yeah i have a great selection all right slide your, car your thing across and well oh, there's nothing in the bird feeder for them those are hard to do sometimes could i just re-roll and see nope i don't think so <laughs> no mm. it says if available ah uh, okay Jack says, Rob, when you play this game, you should have, uh, you should have the Bird is a Word song going, hello. That wouldn't get annoying. <laughs> What's Bird's the Word? Nothing. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So I will play a bird. Nope. Uh, actually, I'll just get the egg action going. Uh, let's do. What's up? Uh, platform. And platform. Okay, go ahead. Someone said only the greatest song I ever made <laughs> to me because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay, take your action. No. Ignore me. <laughs> no. Take your next action. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't have much. I have this one. Why are you taking your action? <laughs> because I'm watching you. You can always just re you can always reroll even even with this card, John. Uh, I was thinking maybe, hey, but it's like give me uh, my card back. gain. Anytime you gain food, right? You can reroll usually, but it says gain one from the bird feeder if available. So like, does uh, let's see, let's look in the in the in the appendix. Uh, what's it called? Red bellied woodpecker. Okay, okay. I'm gonna pay for it. Um, done. Yeah, one sec. I'll get there. Uh, okay. The birds with these powers. The words of these powers are known for caching extra food to save for later. As noted on these cards, you can cache exactly one food token when their power is activated. By placing on a bird. Once a food token is cast on a bird, you cannot spend it. Each token on the card at the end of the game is worth one point. That's a lot of words. If the same dice are showing in the bird feeder, you may re-roll to see if you meet the condition of the bird. If you run out of food tokens, you can cash these cards instead. Oh, you can cash cards instead. I get it. Yeah, so you could have re-rolled. You want to re-roll? See if there's a, yes. a seed? Makes sense? Makes sense? Oh, okay. Awesome. Thanks, John. Yeah, it's just a in brackets if available thing that like threw threw me off too. So you do get to cash one. You want this one? Yes. Unless you're trying to keep a worm there for yourself. No. Okay. No, I need a worm there for me. No, no, no. no. I, I got need... lots of worms. No, no, I'm good. Okay, put a put a food. You cash it. Good, good stuff. Thank you, John, for that. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Excellent. All right, you're done that action. All right, here yes. we go. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Need one more colored bird. Uh, okay. Let's lose two eggs. Yes. 
And yes. we'll play a bird. Let's play this red, red coke, whatever, red cotted woodpecker. <laughs> you can't even read uh, it. Yeah, I can't read with, with a bean. Uh, all right, and then I'll spend these two for it. So it's another colored. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six birds with colors in their names. So I've now achieved my goal, top points of six. I'm about to achieve my Go ahead. goal. Go ahead. What, putting eggs on nine plus birds? Yeah. Oh. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da. Oh. Gonna do it. Oh, it keeps falling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's three. Wait, how do you have... If I'm going first, how come I have not as many cubes spent? I've definitely played these two birds. Yeah. I think no, I should you, go. You didn't pass the thing back to me. Oh, is that what we messed up? You should be going first, right? Yeah, but I already. No, went. no, no. You were first. I'm first. You were first. I'm first. No, I wasn't first the first time. Yeah, you were. Remember, you said I want to be first, and I let you be first at the very beginning of the game. Oh yeah. No, I think we just messed up. That you just took a couple turns wrong, but it's okay. It's okay. I could just quickly just gain some eggs. That's all I would do, and I'll put them back on these birds that I've been pulling them off of. That I need for their their ability here. All right, go ahead. Finish your what you're doing there. The great cube confusion it happens all the time. Every time in this game, I don't know how it happens. It just happens. I think it's because we stop and chat. Roll all <laughs> dice not in the bird feeder. If okay. any are rodents, gain one rodent. You got a oh rodent. Oh my god! Get a rodent. That was I know, very that's, unexpected. Yes, that's rare. That's crazy. You got lucky on that one. I don't. Know. You know the seeds? No. Nope. Okay. So this is yeah. the last cube. Last cube. Yeah, rodents. Uh, oops, I didn't slide this over. I'll just do the egg action to put. I want eggs on my. Um, do I have another platform nest bird? Oh, I don't. Eh, whatever. Okay. What? Let's just do this bird oh, and this bird. It's the worst when you have five players and there are three different. <laughs> <laughs> and three different cube numbers left. When okay, so we're not crazy. It's, it happened to us yesterday when Mel and I were playing a bunch of times, and I like don't understand how it works like that. Oh, oh like where, where you look numbers. around and, and everyone's like, he's got four cubes, he's got one cube, this person's got two. We're <laughs> like, what is happening? How does that work? <laughs> okay, I'm done. You have one last action. What are you going to do to try to get as many points as you can? Taking eggs. All right, three more eggs. And I completed my goal. With my nine plus birds <gasps> that have eggs on them. Uh, Jack says, Rob, I saw one of the games you're playing this week is Pandemic. I'm sure that is an appropriate game to be playing right now because of its time. Yes, that's exactly why we picked it. Um, Mel was saying we should play it. We were talking with the chat the other day in stream, and, we were, and they, everyone said it was like kind of a good idea. So it's just going to be like a chill, relaxed stream on Friday. Uh, we haven't played... We haven't played Pandemic since we played Season 2 last year, I believe. Uh, but the base Pandemic we're going to pull out, which we haven't played in basically since before we played Season 1. We played it just to kind of warm up for that. But uh, yeah, we'll get that back on the table. Just have a casual Friday night stream, chatting with the chat, chilling, no seriousness, and just like playing a lighter lighter game like Pandemic. And get the big uh, and just talking about life and stuff and what's going on in the world and that kind of thing. So that's the plan. Just a relaxing Friday night stream. I get a big TV to myself when you guys are yep. playing on Friday. Yeah. Spencer says, me and the fiance are starting Pandemic Legacy this weekend for the exact same reason. Yeah, I see lots of people posting actually in board game groups and Reddit and stuff talking about how like, not to be like rude, but they're just like, it makes you want to play that game. It seems very relevant. How It gives like a new meaning and a new feeling to the game actually living through a pandemic. It's kind of crazy. I know it's not as crazy or anything is like some pandemics in the past but my wife suggested candy eggs on the side <laughs> mini eggs yeah i've already eaten a few of these and they don't taste as good as mini eggs mm, uh, I, got, I. I gotta order some replacement okay i gotta, Roll the gotta message stonemeyer games asking for some replacement eggs because i i ate some in the game is Roll that, is the that rodent dice for me to Ro get a rodent the, oh roll the no. rodent dice okay sorry you just flip. well i flip it back i think Oh, uh, nope, it's a fruit. No. Yeah, it's a fruit. It went out of the thing. That's fine. 
Ugh, it's always on this. I don't have any. You don't have any seats? No. Never got to put anything under. Yeah, it's too bad you only can use two other things for when you play a bird. You can't use it for things like that. Will they ever make yeah. Pandemic Season 3? Have you heard if they have plans on it? I have heard on other streams or something. Other streams are online or something. There is a uh, rumor that it was like planned for this year. Uh, and with Season 2, it kind of just showed up at Gen Con. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't know it was even going to be there uh, that one year uh, when they showed up with it. And so I assume the same thing will happen. We'll hear more about it around Gen Con, if Gen Con's even happening. And maybe they push it back based on what's happening. Or maybe they think it'll sell better and push it out. I don't know. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. End of the round. Yeah, I have heard they're working on it for sure. Yeah. But uh, that's not official. That's just rumor. But I would assume so. I'm sure the other two made them lots of money. So it makes sense. People like it. It's the end of the round. End of the round. End of the game. Clear oh, your yeah, cubes off. Oh, yeah, end of the game. Uh, how many eggs do you have in platform nests? I one, have... two, Oh, I could have three. put eggs in the same bird. I forgot to do that. I was putting it on one no, on each. No, you can't take it back. I won't take it back. But I, told you but I accidentally put it on different nests thinking in my head I need one per bird. But three. One, two, three, four. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, I must have. But I have a bald eagle and that's nine. Nine points. <laughs> could okay. I do a score? Uh, no, I'll do it. Just to make it quicker here. So we played a game earlier. I'll just scribble a line in here and put Rob and Chelsea in my chicken scratch. Okay. Get it? Chicken scratch wingspan. <laughs> All right. Uh, bird points. So we'll do one at a time here. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, uh, 11, 15, 20, 23, 24, 29, and 35. I'm definitely beating you. <laughs> 35. What do you got for points on your okay, birds? So 2, 5, 11, um, 16, um, it's 21. Mm -hmm. 25. Yeah. 29. Correct. And then... Um, 36, 38. Yeah, 38. <laughs> you beat me by three in the bird category. All right, let's go to bonus cards. So I got the photographer. I have to have birds with colors in their names. I have the black skimmer, red-tailed hawk, common yellow throat. Oh, look at the back of the card. Because <laughs> the green oh, screen. screen. It's green, but it's not green. Uh, how do we do this? You can see through. See through the card. All look. right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you got to put it on this camera. It's looking like. All right. So, uh, and I also have the red coat, whatever, and red breasted nuthatch and red eyed vireo. I already say all these. So I have six of them. So I get six points for my bonus cards. What do you got? I have birds that have at least one egg laid on them, and it's nine plus. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. So, not, how many points? Six points? Six. Perfect. Uh, end of round goals. So let's total up here. I have two, uh, seven, 11, whoops, 11 plus uh, four is 15. Look how short their wings in. Those are tiny little birds, tiny. little hummingbird. Uh, all right, your points here on the end game goal, four, nine, uh, 13, and plus three is 16. You give me by one point there actually, oh. right? Yeah. Because you got the extra points up here, you killed me in the first round. Uh, all right, eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only and for And I me. already know. You have nine. I got nine. Nine eggs. Because okay. I have one on each. Food on cards. I have two. Three. Oh, oh yeah. Beat me on that one. Oh, Tucked yeah. cards. Tucked cards. I have two only. Didn't miss any like I yesterday. have none. Zero oh, for you. Oh. Two for me. So our total points. Let's see. 41. Uh, 56. No, I think I'm going to... 62 uh, plus 4 more is 60, or sorry. Yeah, 66. Oh. You have 44, 60, 69, plus 3, 71. No, 72, 72. If I did that right. Yeah. You won. I did it. Last you won round, by I did it. six points. Good game. Can we do it again? Uh, do you want to play another one? Yes. For sure? Yes. Look at this. She wants to play another one. That's how you know the game is good. <laughs> but will we do... Uh, first? Be right back. 
Uh, yeah, we can take a little break, but first we have to play the song. <laughs> That's the best song in the world. <laughs> 1963 remastered. 24 million views it's on just YouTube. Just a guy going. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, it's the greatest song of all time. <laughs> I'm gonna just play that randomly when you're trying to sleep. I'll just play it super loud and freak you out. Awesome, man. Says Greg. All right, so we're going to take a break, do a little washing break, and we'll set back up. And In. it really comes around after the 50th listen. I'll, I'll test that theory, actually. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. And we're back. We're going to play another game here. Set up. Oh, everyone didn't leave, so we're good. All right. Uh, got your drink? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Rob, just play the song in Mel's office so she could feel, feel like she's part of the game. Yeah, I saw you guys, Edgar mentioned the Peter Griffin one's the best. That's actually the second result on YouTube when I searched for that was the Peter Griffin uh, collection of all the ones from Family Guy where he's doing the bird is the word thing. <laughs> all right, so we're all set up here. i uh, got new birds, got new dice rolled. We have our cards, we got our food pieces. Chelsea's going first. Okay, I'm going to uh, show... we got to pick our goals, though. we got to pick our goals. Let's see oh, what... could I pick? I'll do the first one. Uh, oh, not that one again. Same one? Okay, then we just pick the other side. Boom. Eggs in okay, ground. That, All right. My turn. Hmm. Oh, it's another same one again. Okay, flip it over then. Birds. Birds oh, I love this Didn't one. we have that one? Or no? No, it was okay. the eggs. Birds Because I had the moat. Okay. I had like, a, like five. I'll do the next one. And I'll do the last one. Bull. We didn't have it. Okay, so... Bird, who, for each, you get a point for each bird card you have with a bull nest that has at least one egg on it for okay. round three. Going. Egg. Did we have that one? Uh, I think so. Flip it over. Oh, yeah. We had the birds. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll do the eggs. We had the birds last time. You sure. Yeah, whatever. Yes. I knew we had the birds. <laughs> Going to take one of the short break to get rid of us. Hey, no problem, Jack. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, maybe see you later. We're playing Boss Monster again, streaming this evening, uh, Mel and I. If not, we'll see you in a future stream, of course. Thanks again for your support, Jack. We appreciate it. Um, all right. Ready? Yes. Let's do this. Okay, I'll show them my... Oh, it doesn't matter. I have the backyard... Backyard birder. It Birds worth less than... Four points. Oh, so all the little birds. You're, ba so you're basically. Good. Yeah, but look, there's a two and a two. So the problem is you'll take less points for your birds, though. And you want bir birds that eat fruit. Viticulturist? Do we have a game called Viticulturist? We do. All right, the two that I have here is the falconer. Birds with a predator power, two points per bird. And birds that eat wild, like any kind of food, two points per bird. So those are two nice wide open ones, but let me look I'm at my hand here. The backyard birder as my card. So I have one predator in my opening hand, but I have four birds. Look at this, I got four birds that take wilds. Oh my god. So I feel like I should just go for that one. So I'll get rid of the falconer. I have one bird that takes wild and it's so cute. Uh, but also look here, if there's birds here that might fit what you're trying to do too, right? Is it could I do four points or less? That has to uh, be. Less than four. So it has to be three or less. You two. usually like playing to have less birds in play but all have big points. You have to play the backwards now. <laughs> but you only need to do seven of your birds like that to get the most points over there. I know. All right. I know. So let's toss away some of these. We'll toss away our predator ones. I'm keeping these two. And I'll keep two food. So I'm throwing away three. Okay. Uh, I'll keep this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. I'm going to wait these two. Hopefully this round goes good and I win. Them. Keep win a fish and, a, and the seed and throw away three others. Look how much eggs can be in this guy. Whoa. That's, does he lay eggs on himself or he just flies around and lives wherever he wants? Oh, he if he's at the right of the row, he goes to any other habitat. Oh. <gasps> 
E, right? Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Getting the Tyrion dance there. It Thank works. you so much. It works. Yep. It's not broken today. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> That's what that noise is. Sometimes it happens when we're not. I know. <laughs> when 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 we're, it's on the yep. page, but yep. we're not. Yeah, straight. if I'm setting up for a stream sometimes in the morning, I'll have the camera set up trying to organize everything. And, and we're then, upstairs and yeah, then it and goes off. Yep, and people are just subscribing in the morning while, and we're just hearing this noise go off from the basement. We're like, what is, what's happening? Oh, someone's, someone's subscribing. All right. My turn first. I have five. Yep, your first player. It's all you. Well, I'm going to do something you. you never expected to go first. Play a bird. Whoa, no way. <laughs> um, I'm going to place it in this one because I want... Or actually, I'll do this one because I want a lot of birds with less than four points. Okay. And you're trying to get... Right. When another player's played a bird... Plays a forest bird. bird. Gain one from. Oh. You gain a worm when I play a forest bird. That's cool. That's nice because you like getting the high amounts of food, so I'll get a lot. Okay. Okay, wait. I gotta spend my. And it's a slash. So. Yeah, so you can do a worm or a berry or a fruit or whatever. I'm doing fruit. Or two of anything if you didn't have one of those. You could still do two to make it one of the other. No, no. All right, I slide your cube over and. I have a plan. I'll play a bird. I'll play the common loon, because I'm a little loony, and we'll do... Oh, the guy's uh, logging off. Yeah, Jack, he said bye. I already said bye to him. Oh, I thought... He said, yeah, he said bye to both of us and left. Oh. He's nice like that. He comes in, says hi, and he says goodbye before he well, leaves. Well, he came in, like, at the start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. That's a long time he's been... So, common loon, when activated, players with, or player with the fewest... Wetland birds draw a card. I had that book. I know. Well, you had a different one, but did the same thing. Your action. Go ahead. No, I had the same one. Go as ahead. Well. Your action. Yes, you did have one. And I'm going to be playing another card you did not expect. I mean, another turn. Another turn? Playing another bird? You have food for that? Yes. Oh, wow. Two. Already two birds? Okay. Boom. And there are two. What's he do? What's his uh, win activated? If this bird is to the right of all the other birds in this habitat, move another. So you could, if it's the last one in the row, you could move it to other habitats after you do this action. So it helps get you like more birds in one when you need it, like for one goal, and then you can move it later and get other uh, points well, for other roles. it's probably not going to. It's kind of flexible. Because you'd be like this, but then okay. if I place right. one there, then it can't last. Yeah, that's why. Don't block it in. Move it first before you do that. But, oh, sometimes you don't care. But, uh, all right. Let's go with... Um, I'll just gain some food. And let's gain... Uh, <laughs> so gain a worm. Said what happened to Mel? She shrunk. Wow. <laughs> That's the fourth person now to say she looks no, like Mel. Fifth. She's mini Mel or smaller Mel. Fifth person? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. She did shrink. This is my daughter, Chelsea. Uh, mutton shop, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> also more efficient on egg costs replacing birds. Uh, Who won? I won. Who I won? won. Uh, Chelsea won. She got me. There's her... Uh, Score from the last game. That was our. That was our score from previous. If you can read my chicken scratch there. Chicken scratch. What's a chicken scratch? It's when I when you write and it looks like a chicken just scratched the paper because my writing's so bad. It does. Boom. That should beat me. Seventy-two to sixty. If I added that all up right, uh, if our math's correct. <laughs> so you buy her new Fortnite skin. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> 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 Is that what you want? New Fortnite skin? Yeah. <laughs> but I don't normally play Don't give play her Fortnite. ideas. <laughs> if there's anything to add on to Animal Crossing, then you Oh, yeah. She's all about Animal Crossing coming out tomorrow. Battle Pass. Do you have a Battle Pass for the season? Did you get it? Or yeah, no? I did. Yeah, you did? Okay. But I never play it. But it's... I, <laughs> I you got... just give those guys money, but you never play no, the game? No, no, no. The, the money comes from the Battle Pass last Oh, I year. see. Yeah, yeah. So I just got it. All right. Who is going now? You were first. You've done two actions. 
I'm second. I've done two. Now it's your turn. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to get... Uh, Greg, we normally play with the green side. Even with Chelsea, we play with the green side. But today we want to try the blue for the first time. <laughs> what are you laughing at? No, he's just saying you give those guys money but never played it. <laughs> Joke's on you. I, I know, it. I know. She's played lots of Fortnite. I'm just joking. But all those damn microtransactions and then everyone's throwing money at those guys. Yeah, it's crazy. It's definitely an addiction. Which I can understand. All right. What's happening here? I did this one. No. Did you? Okay, you did. Uh, nope, not yet. Are you done? Okay. I will just gain another food. And this time... Look at your shelf. Someone said look at your shelf. Look at my shelf. I, I know, that's what I'm saying. I totally understand. <laughs> I can at, relate. No, look at yourself. At shelf. Hey. So get it? I look at all the board games on the shelf. Obviously, I have an addiction. You should put the green screen up. No, no, nope, we don't need to know. They don't need to see all, all the games. <laughs> they don't need to see my problems. No, I'm just joking. They have. We play when we play multiplayer sometimes. We oh, throw yeah. Them. We play like three or four players. They usually lift up the green screen. Okay. Uh, let me continue here, and we're going to do the food action, and we'll just gain a... Oh, someone said, Chelsea, how do you like this game? I love this game. <laughs> awesome. All right, it's your turn. Okay. She usually doesn't want to play a board game twice in a row. Like, she'll bug me to play something, or off Mel or I to play something, and we'll play it with her. But after that one game of, like, an hour, an hour and a half, two-hour game or whatever, she's usually like, okay, I'm done. And just leave. She can't do any more. But this game, we finish, and she wants to play it right away. Like this, we're streaming right now. I can play this forever. Yeah, she likes Wingspan a lot, so she wants to play again. But we're, we're just going to play one more here. And no, then... no, 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 no. Can we finish this game, please? Okay. Can we Can we finish this game? No. We're not going to make it last forever. I have another stream to do after this, too. You do? <laughs> For Boss Monster. Let me tonight. Yep. What time? Uh, 6.30. 6.30. But we have stuff to do, so let's just... It's okay. Just... I don't know what to do. I <laughs> yeah, I <think> <laughs> Adam. Yeah, I agree. I'm only joking. I know. I'm not trying to hide the problem. I, okay. <laughs> I created a, I created a YouTube channel to show off the problem and and to get other people to have the same problem who don't Fruit, know please. about modern board gaming. Fruit done. Stop talking. We gotta get this done. Uh, we're working on it. Well, we can still chat. We just, you know, you gotta I gotta find a good mix between. Well, it, when it's chatting. your turn, you just chat with when everyone. When it's your turn, I try to chat with them, but then it distracts you. And then when it's my turn, you chat with them, and that's yeah, fine. Yeah, but I never chat. With them. Oh no, you don't. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so you've done four. Uh, all right. I just look at the chat. Mm, all right. I'm going to draw, and what am I trying oh, to draw? I didn't know your birds that eat that. I will just draw off here. Okay. And the players with the fewest birds in the wetlands can draw one. So we'll each draw one. I'll start. You go ahead. Oh, uh, you can draw it from here, though, if you Never mind. Uh, Never mind. But this one's not draw from the deck. It's just draw one. That's okay. All right. Go ahead. Your action. I'm going to... Hmm, what am I going to do? I'm going to get some, um, I'd like the rodent, please. Rodent, go ahead. Okay. All right, I'll take the food action also, and I don't like the single face center of the, the fish. I'm going to actually do a reroll. Uh, but what do I like? I'll take the seed. There's definitely a shortage on food types I'm looking for right now. Uh, okay, done, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'll take the food and I'll have a worm. Worm it is. All right. Uh, I will play a bird. Nope. I will take the gain an egg action because I need those to play the bird I want to play, I guess. Uh, but I can only take one egg. This guy only holds an egg. That's weak. All right. Go. Your turn. Okay. Buy her Everdell. Uh, Matouge. I'm actually... Uh, I do want to get that on a list. I've talked about Everdell before. Uh, I'm going to be posting, hopefully on Patreon today, 
uh, a poll of games that are on my wish list, games that seem to be easy to get right now and they're in stock, and games that you guys have also mentioned to me, kind of made a, a list of those over time, and we're going to post a poll with a few of them there, so anyone at any tier on Patreon will be able to vote on this poll, because uh, Mel and I are going to place our monthly board game order, and uh, that is on the list, so... We'll, we'll try to order the ones that get the most votes if they're in stock, assuming when they get ordered. So watch for that later today on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Rob's Game Table. Links are in the description below. Anyone who's interested. I'm good to go? But yeah, she would love the cute art in it, Matuj. I know. What's effort? <coughs> See the way this has this little cardboard bird feeder? Yeah. Imagine a deck building game. That has this beautiful little tableau with a tree, a cardboard tree in the middle, and all little animal creatures on them, and all have little abilities on the cards like these. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't have that? No. But Matuja's is trying to trick me to show you so that you convince me to buy it so he can watch us play it. <laughs> He's evil. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, I see that game. So this is what Matuja is trying to trick you into. Uh, images. where's the images? Yeah. So it's like this. Uh, this little game here. Oh my gosh. Well, it's got like all these little, uh, little plastic tokens and like a little tree Can and little wooden, wooden guys. Can you get it? <laughs> she's, she's sold already. And yeah, we will get it, Chelsea, for sure. The four, wait, scroll down. Uh, Look to the side. There's the four spot. Here, Which one? Side. The fox in the forest? Yeah. No, don't look at the ads, Chelsea. The ads are evil. Give it, they will it's convince a you to game. buy everything. It's, it says it's only yeah, $15. Look, look little tree. That little tree's in the game. Everyone loves this little tree. It's great meant, table like, presence. a big, huge tree. Look, look. A little close up of the game. Oh my god. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful production. And the game, yeah, I've heard the game plays awesome. But, uh, Can we yeah. get it? Yeah, we're going to, I'm adding it to the list. And if patrons vote for that, one of the higher games, and it's in stock, we go to place our monthly order from our local game store, we will vote get it. Vote for it. Well, the poll's not up yet, so. Vote for it when the poll Everdell comes. instead of Fortnite skin says Beto. Yeah? Everdell instead of Fortnite skins? There you go. We got her, guys. We got her. We've convinced her. <laughs> Come away from the dark side to the darker side. <laughs> All right. Well, whose turn is it? What about, how many cubes you got? One left? One. I have one left. You're first. So that means you... Oh, I have one right here. Never mind. I was holding one down here. <laughs> uh, so I will play a bird. I'll spend this egg. Oh. I'll put an American coot in here and pay it a wild and this seed. And when activated, I can tuck a card from your hand behind this card if I do draw a card. Gotcha. Someone said gotcha. Go ahead. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks a lot, Matouge. <laughs> <laughs> His job is done. <laughs> uh. <laughs> if this bird is <laughs> Oh, Mutton Chop, you back the, the last Pardon. Kickstarter, like the two expansion on the last Kickstarter, and you just got notified they're shipping out today. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um. Okay, Do I? because I moved it, do I do an action like that? Uh, what should you do? I moved You did this it. to get food? No, it's move. You move it to another habitat. Which were you doing? What action? I wasn't I, I was just... You did the egg I one? I did the egg one, then I moved... Yeah, I did. so you move it, but the cube stays down here, though. It oh. doesn't matter in this case, yeah. Okay, can I move it to the... Yeah, right red online. Yeah, the cube I stays in the... I wish you I know, I thought it would be super cool if the cube followed them, but then I read online, it's it's not. Because if you did it at the end, yeah. it wouldn't be no, fair. No, that'd be cool. Yeah, because then you would get a whole bunch of actions on a different row, and that would be crazy broken, I think. Uh, all right. And my last one is, uh, what am I trying to do? Eggs in ground nest? Well, no. I only have one bird that can take one egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's only not playing correctly this time. Uh, all right, so I will just do that egg action. I'll put two eggs out. You had like eight, eight turns. That's fine. To realize. I know. It's a mess over here. The food I wanted wasn't there. The birds I want aren't here. They're all expensive. I'm trying different stuff. Okay, that's it. Clear off your cubes. And we'll put a cube up in the uh, where you got on the first one here. So I have one egg. <laughs> so I get one point. I got three. You got three? Okay. Yeah, look. 
Three, two. Perfect. Uh, so we switch the first player. We clean out these guys here. Find new ones. Spirits of the Wild Girl Gang is a production. Production for girls as well. Spirits of the Wild. Search it up. All right, searching it up. Put it on the TV or the screen. Yep. You just find it. <laughs> So let's see here. So Spirits of the Wild, 2018, 7.5 out of 10. It's only 309 on the family games. Doesn't seem like uh, it's doing too well. Let's <laughs> see. It does look cute, oh, but it like does. It, I, I like it. It's a two-player game. What? Owl, rabbit, beaver, salmon, it? turtle. I don't know how to play it. I don't know nothing. <laughs> He's just trying to trick you into buying games based on how pretty they look. <sighs> Which is interesting. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> sorry. She votes no on that one, maybe. <laughs> no, don't be sorry, Matouche. We're just having fun. We're just chilling. It's all good. It's not. It's not a serious, serious playthrough here. We're just we're having a good time. The second second game is always like we're just we're just chill. It's all good. All right. So uh, you said you wanted to get this done and you were yeah, like yelling at me. I know. I was yelling. But you yelling, just said it was cat. Whose turn is it? Nobody has gone yet, right? So we're trying to get most no, birds in the wetlands. Turn. My turn. Okay, perfect. Uh, I need more food. So okay, I have a flying bird. Oh, sure. All right. Let's go for food. I'll take this rodent. I thought you didn't need any from the air. Go. Okay. Well, I got different birds now. I'm going to actually get some cards. This one. Mm, yes. Okay. Um, and then I get two, so another one. Okay. Slide your cube along and do your other stuff. You want to move them somewhere else? Just think about what the next action you want to take. Because then if you can put them in whatever row and make it more powerful. Mm. Mm, that's what I use them for. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll take food. Uh, I don't like what I see. The two fish. I will roll them in. And take uh, a <laughs> seat. Go ahead. I'm going to gain some food. I would like worm or seed. These two, and I would like a worm and a seed. Go ahead. All right. Wait, I'm not done. Moving them again. Never made them back to this. Okay, the next one. All players lay one you egg. You want to trigger on this? My... Oh, on any. I don't even have one of those type of birds. You may lay another egg on one of those types. So you could put two eggs on this guy, and I don't even get to put any down. <laughs> it's perfect. So in for me. Yep. All right. I will play a bird. I'll play this red headed woodpecker. Uh, I can throw away a seed, a worm, and any other type of food. And he can gain one seed from the bird feeder if available. You may cash it on this card. Go ahead. Okay, then. Um, since uh, I'll, I'll spend an egg because I don't need. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just in here because it's the same price. Um, I'll spend my wheat because it's a slash. Yep, you can pick one or the other, a seed or an invertebrate to pay for it. And you're done. You spent the egg. Yeah. Okay, slide it over. All right, I'll go for the draw cards action. I'll take this guy and I'll take one off the deck. That was really Slide fast. it over. I can tuck a card from my hand underneath. And I will tuck this one. If I do, I draw one. And then players with the fewest 
Birds in the wetlands draw a card. Well, I have the fewest, so I will draw one. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Go ahead. Okay. Well. Oh, and I fill this up at the end of my turn. Because you're being me. Go I'm ahead. I'm going to play another card. Or wait. No, I'll just... Uh, no, I'll play a card. Or... Uh, I don't know, I don't play a card. I'll take that back. Uh, I'll gain some food. What would you like? Hmm. The seed. Seed? Okay, take one. And I'll get rid of this one. Do you want this or do you want to roll? Reroll. What do you want? Uh, another seed. Another seed. Okay, go ahead. Okay. And slide along. Oh, I have one of those birds now. Do you want to trigger that? So I get one egg on there, but you get to put two on those type, but you, your guy's already full. So you probably don't want to trigger that or else I get a free egg. No, basically. no, yeah. no, no, no. So no, no, probably no, not a good no, idea, no, right? No, 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 no. All right. Uh, I'll play a bird. I'll spend an egg. Yep, spend an egg. Let's play... American crow. Oh, do I even have any food? Nope. I don't have any food. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. So I'm taking the food action. Wait, you played a card that has food in it? Yeah, but I wasn't thinking. I thought I had food still there. But oh. uh, I will get some food first. And see, I will toss away a card and take another one. I will take. Let's go rodent. Okay, I'll slide it over. Uh, gain a seed from the bird feeder if available, uh, but they're matching, so I get to re-roll. There's one, and cash it, and move across. Go ahead, your turn. I keep, um, Whoa. I keep getting birds because I'm trying to get this one. Did you pay the eggs for that? Yes. Two eggs you gave away for that? Yeah. Card? Okay, cool. Because the, the ah, action. Then you'll get them back. You'll fill them up again. Makes sense. Nice little engine. It's smart. It is. All right, let's try to not be dumb and play another <laughs> bird here. Uh, so I toss away an egg and I'll feed him this seed. Whoops, wrong thing. Uh, okay, this American crow. When activated, uh, discard one. What, you're telling me I should play here? No, no, take no, it. No, that's a no, good idea. It. No, take it. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still telling right. you this. <laughs> the American crow. Uh, and that's that. Uh, go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> go ahead. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> yes, that is correct, Mutton Chop. That is correct. Marcus is watching, but he's trying to build a protection Thor for Solo. And Marcus, if you do solve that and post it on uh, CardGameDB, uh, or sorry, MarvelCDB.com, um, yeah, let me know. <laughs> Shoot me a message. I'll, I'll, if, it, if you do think it's solid, I will try it out on a stream. Okay, but, you're sure. Uh, yeah, I gotta, that's the next time I try Thor is going to be protection also, because that's supposedly the, the, the only Thor Solo that could work, maybe. But I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Well, we can tell her smarts come from her mother wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll go for food. Uh, I'll take this rodent. And I will take this seed. Go across. Discard an egg. If I do, I can take a food of any type from the supply. I will discard the egg. I'll take a seed. Okay, I'll go over here, gain a seed from the bird feeder if available. Well, they match, so when I go to gain food, if they have the same face, I can re-roll into the bird feeder. And there's a seed. And I'll cash it on this bird. Done. Done. The oh, one more for you. Go ahead. And we're done the round. Adam says, my wife is not a big gamer, so I'm just enjoying her recommending Everdell to begin with. Yeah. 
I'll take. That's uh, it's always good if you can find a theme that someone who's not really a big gamer is into to get them into uh, gaming. A worm, please. It's always good. I like that there's so many games with different themes for like everybody. And then I'll take a worm. What did you want? Worm. Worm, yeah. And then um, oh, wait. or seed. Sorry, but that yeah, that one. Okay. Because then you don't get one. Yep, yep. Because I'm smart. Okay. Slide it over. Do you want to do the egg laying thing? Yeah. Okay, so we each lay an egg on one of those type of birds, and then you get to lay a second one on one of those type of birds. Because with the cavity, also... cavity nest. All right, clear our cubes. Ah, keeps falling. Okay, ah. end of the round, clear our cubes. Okay. And then put a cube on how many birds you have in the wetlands. I just have two. I have four. Very nice, good for you. Uh, then we're going to clear this row up here. And we'll get some new birds in play. And you are now first player. Go ahead. Take your turn. Okay. Cool. Uh, this is very hard. I will play a card. Or play a bird. Oh, that's a nice cheap one. It's under two, under four points also. Very nice. Okay, slide it along. I'll take the draw bird's action. Draw one from the deck. Draw another from the deck. Uh, then I can, on the American Coot, tuck a bird behind if I do. Draw another card. And players with the lowest amount of birds in their wetlands, draw a card. Oh, yeah. And go ahead. More. Go ahead. Your turn. Oh, cup birds. Cup. Ooh, look what I got. No, I like Thor. I think Thor is cool. He just sucks for solo. Like, he's not fun for solo for me. Uh, he's just not that powerful. He seems like he was definitely designed for multiplayer, which is fine. Seems in Lord of the Rings, they did the same thing. Some heroes are better in groups and working with certain other spheres and heroes and stuff. So I don't expect everyone to be so hardcore solo, but it's just too bad. It, it wasn't balanced well enough for solo, I don't think. But in a living card game, cards will come out that will improve him in the future. I don't doubt it. Uh, and I've known that from playing living card games for the last eight years. Uh, sometimes a card just comes out and it sucks. And eventually they realize that our playtesters maybe missed something. And later, or they have cards planned later in the cycle that were designed and balanced with them. Because usually they play test like a whole set or like six months or a year worth of cards at once. And then print them all at the same time and just release them slowly, pretending that they were... All designed separately, but so there's probably some cards coming out that will make him better. I think I have, I have a strong feeling in that. A seed, please. A seed, sure. Okay. Um. She Hulk justice is fun. <laughs> no, I won't trigger that. Thor aggression is awesome in multiplayer. I have tried that. It is good. Uh, I think aggression isn't quite solo. Yeah, aggression's not solo capable either. <laughs> I tried many, many games trying to make that work, and it just did not. It's your uh, turn. All right, my turn. Uh. Mm, I'll go for food. I don't like what's there. I'm gonna try to uh, get me some fishies. There's a fishy. No. Okay, fish. And you I will take. Uh, sorry, not a. Uh, let's take a worm and slide it over. I can discard an egg from a card, which I will do. I'll take another fish. And I will slide along, gain a seed from the bird feeder if there is one, but I, I was dumb and took the wrong worm. I should have thought ahead for that. But that's okay. And then we're done. Go ahead, your turn. Okay. I'm trying to play quickly, so I'm going to make mistakes, that's for sure. Yes. If you want me to play super efficient and crush you, I can try that if you want. <laughs> well, you're not going to crush me anytime soon because look at I know, you're wrecking me over here. You're killing me, Chelsea. Uh. Yeah. You just got those bird skills. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. You good? Okay. Perfect. Uh, I will pull... I'll get some eggs. Let's go some eggs. Go some eggs. Yoink. Uh, we're trying to put eggs on bowl. I don't have any of those. Okay. Go ahead. Done. You're next. Yeah, when an adult says they're making mistakes, they're really cheating. This is correct. <laughs> I try not to, but uh, yeah. 
And Marcus plays protection, more like leadership. Heavy ally focus, doing heavy lifting, keeping them heal hero tanks. Okay. Yeah, that's that's an interesting way to take to look at it. Actually, yeah, just keep your. I find I like that strategy of keeping allies in play and getting like a wall of allies and just letting them do the work, kind of. But uh, and keep them healed. It's a fun little like mini management game that you your can turn. do. Your turn. All right. Assuming your deck's built for it. Uh, all right. You have like two of each. Uh, I will. What kind well, of let's play bird? a play a bird. I'll do a fish yeah, and a seed. An egg. And one egg. Play this guy in the wetlands. A lot of people are talking in like Done. big sentences. Yep, that's fine. Go ahead, your turn. Okay. Hmm, I'm just think. Okay, I'll need to. Um, okay, I'll do the lay eggs action. Exactly, Ryan. That's what I was saying earlier. LCG, like living card game, but the card pool just always keeps changing and growing, and like cards get reevaluated all the time and can either get worse or become weaker depending on what else is out there and what villains come out may change the strengths of certain cards so some cards that are like great against certain villains maybe they're even better against future villains who knows we'll see or maybe thor just completely sucks in solo for the rest of the life of the game and he just sits and collects dust on the shelf and people just play him in multiplayer <laughs> no i don't think that'll be but maybe <laughs> what are you doing tucking like crazy over here yeah Look a card from your hand by this bird. If you do, also these, lay an egg on this bird. Sweet. Okay. Um, I will draw two cards. Wait, did I do... I didn't do this before. Yeah. Didn't do what? I didn't do all these ones. I didn't go... Because you were Oh, trying. go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. That's why you can ignore when I'm talking with the chat. Just play your stuff. It's fine. Draw a card. Yep. Okay. But that... This draw card can also come from here. Because remember, it doesn't say from the deck. It doesn't matter this time, but go ahead. Keep forgetting. Okay. Okay. Oh, have you been getting the worms when I play birds up here? Not any time, right? Take two worms. Yeah, that's okay. Take two worms. I, I have to remember this too. Like, I forget that that's there. I always forget to look I for your... I, I never really play with the pink ones either, cards. so I always forget. All right. Uh, so I'm drawing two cards. I did that already, I think. And then I can discard a fish, which... Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll discard a fish, and I can tuck two cards under this bird. So those will be worth a victory point each at the end of the game. And I'll slide over this guy. I can tuck a card behind this guy. If I do, I draw a card. Okay, and then players with the fewest wetland birds, which is me, can draw a card. And I'm done. Go ahead. Last cube of the round. Make it count. Okay. Well, I'm just going to lay some eggs on birds so I get to tuck things behind. Sure. And I also get eggs. Uh, what am I going for? Oh, Ryan just got the two new expansions for Everdell about 20 minutes ago. Uh, they were just talking in the chat about those being shipped out. People get notifications. One, two, oh, that's awesome. three, four. Five, <laughs> you guys are making me want to get Everdell now. Wait, I don't know. I get it. Like even more than you convinced Chelsea to get Everdell. My birds have flown away, yes. Yes, Sajat. I scared them away on purpose. Chelsea actually convinced all the birds to go to her habitat instead of mine. Huh? This game. You, you've you convinced all the birds to fly to your habitat, not mine. Yeah, because I'm awesome. Yeah, well, yeah, you are awesome. I have like, well, how can I compete with that? All right, what do you got going? You done? Okay, so I will play a bird and I'll spend an egg. And I will throw this guy, the fish crow, up here. And I'll spend for for the fish, I'll just do two. Actually, I'll do a rodent you and a, a seed. And then worm from you. a wild. Yep, you get a worm because I played one in my forest. I did. Perfect. And go there. All right, done. Uh, end of the round, clear off our cubes. 
Oh, I and don't know it was in how many bag. birds with bull nests do you have an egg on? I have zero. Two, three. Three. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Are you count the wild too? Do you have wilds? Yeah. All right, perfect. One, two, three. Yep, perfect. Okay. Uh, so we switch first player. We clean out these cards. Very quickly, I boom, guess. Boom. Yep, yep. Uh, all right. So now I'm first player. Uh, what we're trying to do is uh, for every egg you have in a platform nest, you'll get uh, up to five points at the end of the round. Uh, I will take the draw card action and just draw two from here. I don't have an egg to throw away. I don't have a fish to discard. I can tuck a card underneath this guy, which I will do. And if I do, I draw a card. And players with the fewest um, birds in the wetlands, which is still me, I just draw a card. And end. Go ahead. Your action. Five left. Mm, I have a good idea. Okay. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... Gain a worm. Worm. Done. Okay. Now... Okay, I'm not gonna trigger that one. Okay, your turn. Okay, uh, let's gain two eggs. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to gain another worm. Okay, you got the worm. Do you want to throw away a card to get another? No. Or I can. Oh no, I because I only have one card. Okay. It's my special card. Uh, all right. Your turn. Go. Uh, okay. I will gain food. I don't like the rodent. Okay. Let's go for a fish and a fish. Okay. Two fish. Uh, I will toss a card. And let's gain eagle? another fish. Do the bald eagle? Is that why you're getting a bunch of fish and nope. a bunch of rodents? I will not discard an egg from a bird. I will not discard an egg from a bird. And Are I will those gain... the same thing? An American crow and a fish crow? I, no, I don't know. They're kind of similar. Uh, I didn't like what's there, but I'm going to try to gain a seed. But we're matching. I will gain this one for a seed on this bird. And it's your turn. <laughs> what is... She doing building a worm farm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I'm doing I'm doing something as far as um okay. Got it. Gonna play a bird. Spend some eggs. Okay. An egg. I'm going. Can I do two? So you do a worm, and then for the berries, each berry you can spend two worms for each berry to make yeah. it into that kind. Yep. Yeah. So all Four. five worms to cover then, the cost. And then these two. And then, yeah. All right. Okay. So slide your cube down. Best, best, uh, best. I will also play a bird. No food. No, I will no play cards, no a bird things. here. Two. And this one, I'll spend a fish and a rodent. Play the goal. Uh, when activated, discard an egg to draw two cards. And worms. I'm good. Your turn. Worms ate the berries. Your turn. That's what he said. Worms ate the berries? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the eggs. Okay. So what do we need to do? Eggs. Eggs in platform nests. We'll get you points at that end round goal. I'll just do another one. Okay. Slide it across, and you want any cards to tuck? So those two birds don't really do anything. Look how much I got. All right. I'll take the egg action uh, for two eggs. And I guess platform nests are a thing. Uh, and I'll throw away a fish to get another egg. And I'll throw another platform nest bird. And discard one and draw two cards. Nope, I'm good. And that's it. Your last turn. Go ahead. Last turn of the game. Hmm. What shall I do? What's the best thing to do? Try to get the most points. Remember, eggs are worth points. Birds are worth points. Uh, eggs and platform nests. I'll do eggs. What's your what's your goal card trying to do? Did you got that? 
Oh yeah, you get you have at least five. Four, five. I have five. Then are less than four. All right, so that's three points. Yep. So you're gonna do eggs. Makes sense. Yep. Three eggs. Because they're the best. And I'm trying not to get white because it doesn't work. I know, yet. Ryan. I know. It's not looking good for me. She's, yep. she's looking. She's getting even better in game two. She's just like, she already beat me the first. I won one this morning, though, when we played. Yeah, you did. I beat you this morning. It was it was closer Wait, still. But... You can show them. Yeah, that's the... true. We got we got evidence here. So I beat her this morning, 62 to 49. Yeah, it was, she then, it was the morning. She then I obviously, that... obviously between the two hours we took a break to have lunch and, and, and get ready for the next stream, or she uh, obviously ordered a bird strategy book online, <laughs> had it rush shipped here, and learned how to ha learn more about birds than I did and beat me in the second try. Getting beat by a nine-year-old. I'm 10. <laughs> She's 10, actually. We're in the big leagues now, double digits. So double digits. I don't feel as bad getting beaten anymore. All right. Uh, so... What is happening here? Oh, wait, I got you, it. You did all, yeah, you don't have any cards to tuck, so those don't matter. All right, clean off your cubes and put one on the end round goal for how many eggs you have in platform nests. I have one, two, three, I have, four, five. Oh, I, I got have, all five on the last one. I have way more than five. I have seven, so. But it only goes up to five. If I would have, I would have, I would have got first. So quit showing off, all right? Quit showing off. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the sheets. We got another sheet here. And we write Rob, we write Chelsea. All right, birds. I have 14 in my pop row here, 17, uh, 23, 26, and 29. I definitely beat you. Well, tell me what you got in 20 for your birds. <laughs> okay, I have um, 13. Okay. Um, <laughs> seven. I don't know why you said block that comment, but your dad is a sore loser, he said. I don't know how he knows my dad, though. I, I don't know. I guess Munt Chop knows my dad. <laughs> no, kidding. me. Um, <laughs> wait, what? Okay, 13, 17. Um, the crying emojis. <laughs> laughing and crying at me. Ryan's, Ryan's having a good time watching <laughs> me lose over here. All right, what do you got? Keep going. Uh, I had 17, um, 19, 21, 26. 26, are you sure? I, I, I wasn't paying attention, but hold on. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 26. Is that what you said? Yep, 26. Oh. Bonus cards. What do you got? Three for that? Yep. And I got, so here's, here's what I was working on over here, trying to have fun, only doing this. So if you'll notice, all my birds have wilds. So in my head, I made a rule for myself to try to really focus on this. So that's why I was drawing like crazy. Uh, but I didn't get that lucky. Like I got extra junk. You saw me tossing cards a lot because none of them had wilds. And I was trying to limit myself to only play birds that had wilds on to see if that would be Someone said a decent strategy. Someone said transfer points to V-Bucks. Doing, doing live math is such points to V-Bucks. Don't listen to Matuj. Ignore him completely. Okay? Just don't ever read his chat. You, ignore it. It's always bad news. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So we will... Um, I have seven birds. So two for each bird is 14 for my bonus. End of round goals. So you have, oh! we have three, seven, You're 10, plus five is 15. Me. Nope, you have 15 for round end. I have one, three, zero, eight total. You crushed me there. Eggs, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I Amazing. definitely have. I have amazing eggs. 1, 2, eggs. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 eggs. What are you running? A breakfast restaurant over there? <laughs> How many do you have? 16. 16? You have it the last round. Food on I was cards. Like, I have food on cards. To... Oh, look, I crushed you. I have three food on cards. You had eight. Bam. I didn't what get any. What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that? Zero? Big fat zero. All right, tuck cards. Yeah, but I'm going to win. Who tucks the most? One, two, three, four. One, four. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm going to lose. Four. Okay. Let's add up my points. So, uh, 43, 51. Hold on. <laughs> no. 29 plus 14. That is 43, right? Yeah. Then we have plus eight is 52. Then 57. What? Then 60, 66. 
I'm definitely. Right? You, you got 66. Last I think so. No, was that what it really got last time? No way, it did. Crazy. Oh my god. All right. Uh, so yours is 26 plus three is 29. Uh, plus another 15, 39, 44. Uh, 50, 60, 64. No. Two points. Boom. If I did the math right. Uh, I beat we her by two points. have to do a tiebreaker. No, there's, it's not a tie, so you don't break you don't break it when one person wins. Yeah, but look. What? I, I won once, and you won once. Oh, you're saying uh, we have to do a tiebreaker another game to decide who wins best two yeah. out of three? No. We'll do it early quick. <laughs> Consistently average. Woo! Best of three, Dad. Duh. Well, actually, we played earlier today. I know what she means now. No, I know. no, 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 no. Yeah, we have no, three no, games no, right no, here no, recorded. No, no. We have three games no, right here. No, no. So if it's best of three, it looks like no, it's I'm best a winner. Of four. Well, it's best. <laughs> <laughs> the math is not right, by the way. It probably isn't. <laughs> it's definitely. Okay, tell me, tell me. Do we get it here? Calculator, go. So hold on. Twenty-nine plus four, that would be thirty-three, plus the ten there. That's forty-three, right? No. Plus eight. No, no, no. That's uh, 52, 57, 60, 66. On your side, 29 for the first two there. Plus 5 is 34, plus 10 more is 44, plus the 6 is 50, plus the 10 is 60, 64. Right? Oh, unless I mathed out something all wrong here. It's 65. Yeah, probably is, right? 65, 64. Oh, I'm being dumb. Am, am I adding something wrong? 60. Oh, yeah, mommy. Yeah. See what the other. 65 for me? Oh. Uh, it was really that close? One point away? No. It's 60. 43 plus 8 is 51. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was thinking it's 9. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, my God. Can you tell I'm tired? All uh, right. It's, 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 it's 3. 65. Are you tired? I tired from the morning. Yep. Right. All right. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. 65 to 64. Super close. Super close. Awesome. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you everyone for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, you guys hanging out with us, chat with us here this afternoon. Uh, we'll be streaming later. Boss Monster tomorrow. Uh, yep. Tonight is Boss Monster. Mel and I. Eight is the new nine. You got it, Sajat. And uh, <laughs> what does that mean? What? Eight is the new nine. Because, because I messed up my math. And oh. I, I was in my head adding nine oh. to the number instead of eight. When's the Fortnite stream, says Matouge? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. If I'm in a stream, it'll be the Call of Duty uh, Warzone. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. You should do that. No, no, no. Yeah, you no. should ring the theme. Um, I stink. I'm rusty. It's, that's all good. Yeah. Uh, no, but anyways. And, um, what's his name? Matouge. Matouge. Yeah, he'll laugh at you when you're Yeah, playing. of course he will. That's what he <laughs> normally does. Uh, anyways, Warzone. Thanks. Yeah, Warzone. All right. That's it for the stream. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll be playing Boss Monster later tonight live. Tomorrow evening, we're going to be doing a pandemic stream. Check it out. YouTube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. All the upcoming streams are listed there in a row. You can set reminders for the ones you want to see. Saturday, Clank Legacy. Sunday, Clank Legacy. Tuesday, we got City Skylines, I think, scheduled. Thursday, Patreons can vote on what we play on Thursday. Friday night of next week, Pandemic, or uh, Clank Legacy again. And there will be other streams in there somewhere too. So stay tuned. Uh, things are, are coming that we're waiting for to come in the mail. Uh, also, other, I might switch up just to stream some other games like Cloud Spire or something uh, if those don't well, come. It's, but anyways, thanks a lot for watching. It's thanks to this card I didn't want yep. it for. Oh, because you need to do more. Yeah. yeah, it makes you play less birds, like less points birds. Yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good evening. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.